Hi, it's Lee. Welcome to Learn English with Lee. And welcome to the first grammar exercise video. Now, the idea of these videos is actually on the internet, uh, I see a lot of teachers giving like grammar presentation videos, a lot actually, uh, maybe too many, uh, including mine. Um, but I don't see many teachers doing exercises. Uh, and going over the answers of the exercises like that you would be like sorry like you would do in a class so the idea is that uh, you can watch my grammar presentation videos cool good i recommend but also you can practice like you are in my class here in the uk what i'm going to do is there will be 10 questions uh, about the difference between uh, present perfect or past simple. So if you do have any doubts about uh, the differences in the meaning or the form, then I recommend go back, watch the uh, grammar presentation videos. I'll leave all of the links uh, in the comment section below. And I'm going to have 10 questions, so 10 chances for you to test your knowledge. Uh, this video, I'm going to do one to five, and then I'm going to do <clears throat> sorry, uh, six to ten in another video, so you can have a, a break between uh, the first video and the second video. Okay, so um, let's start. So here are the first five questions. So what I want you to do now is pause the video, look at the questions, think very, very, very carefully about if we need present perfect or past simple, and then think about how we would actually form it. So for example, uh, think about the irregular forms. Uh, if it's present perfect, is it uh, have or has, this kind of thing. And what I'm going to do is uh, you can just look at the screen and, and make notes. Or what I will also do is put these questions in the comments box, uh, description box, sorry. And you can then cut and paste these into uh, Microsoft Word or something like that. So what I want you to do now is pause the video and try and find the correct answers. So let's make a start. Okay, number one. Zayn go away to the country last week. End. We need the past simple or the present perfect to complete this sentence. The correct answer is when. Zane went away to the country last weekend. Now, I hope you got this correct. If you did, well done. If you didn't, no problem, don't worry. We're going to explain it in a little bit of detail. So the question is, why is it past simple? Uh, Zane has gone away to the country last weekend. Sounds good, teacher? Not really. Okay, so the reason why is at the end of the sentence we have last week end this is a specific time reference and when we have a specific time reference we can't use present perfect we must use past simple so examples of um, specific time references would be language like three days ago in december yesterday uh, when i was a teenager on wednesday and before you arrived. So all of these kinds of language are examples of time references, specific time references. And if we have a specific time reference, we must use past simple. Okay, so that was the answer to number one. Let's have a look at number two. Okay, so we've got two people talking. You look a bit down. Down is a kind of slang phrase for you look a bit depressed or you look a bit sad. So you look a bit down, are you okay? And B replies, yeah, it's my driving test. I try to pass it four times so far. It's too difficult. Do we need the past simple or the present perfect to answer this question, to complete this sentence? Well, I hope you have the answer. Have tried. Present perfect. So uh, we need the auxiliary verb have. Uh, try is a regular past verb, so try, tried, tried, so I have tried. But for spoken English, remember, if we can contract, we should contract. So for spoken English, it would be, it's my driving test, I've tried to pass it four times so far, 
it's too difficult. Okay, so we have uh, example number one with past simple. We have example number two with present perfect. Why? Well, do we have a time reference here? No, we don't. So it's okay for us to use um, present perfect here. It's something which happens in the past, yeah, four times in the past, but we don't know when. So out of the three functions, okay, if you remember from the uh, grammar presentation videos, there are actually three functions for present perfect. This is present perfect for unspecified past actions. A very common example is when we talk about our life experience, when we talk about things we have done in our life. So, for example, I could say, true story, I have walked along the Great Wall of China. This is in the past, it's a finished action, but I'm not telling you when. If I want to tell you when, I would say, I walked along the Great Wall of China in 2008, specific time reference. But here, no specific time reference, life experience, unspecified past, present perfect. Another example could be my sister has, my sisters visited me twice this year. We don't know when. What, January, February, March, April, May, last week, we don't know. Unspecified time reference, we can use present perfect. Okay, so that's question two. I hope you're doing well so far. Let's have a look at question three. So we have mm, the class mm, and have their progress test yesterday. And then B replies, I'm not sure. I think so. Ask Peter. He taught them. Hmm. Okay. First question. Very important question. Do we have a specific time reference? Yes, we do. What is it? Yesterday. So, do we use past simple or present perfect? Hmm, specific time reference, past simple. Cool. But, is it a positive, a negative, or a question? Well, this is a question, isn't it? So, how do we make a past simple question? Well, we need to use the auxiliary verb did. But, uh, we need to put it at the beginning of the sentence. We need to invert. So it's did subject plus verb. So it will be did the class mm, their progress test yesterday. Now then, what is the form of the verb? Did the class had their progress test yesterday? No. Did the class have? So because the do, the did, the auxiliary verb has the past tense. So the verb, the action, is just in the infinitive. So did the class have their progress test yesterday? I'm not sure. I think so. Okay, so three, uh, three down, two to go in this video. I really hope you're doing well so far. But keep all of these ideas in your mind. So a uh, positive negative question, a uh, specific time reference. These are very important questions that you can use to check your answers. So let's have a look at number four. My best friend and I be in a rock band together in high school. Okay, first question. Do we have a specific time reference? Yes, we do. Actually, what is it? In high school. Okay, maybe it's not very specific time reference, not like at half past two this morning, but it is quite specific. If you think about, for example, my life, uh, so I'm 37 years old. I know, I don't look it, right? Um, but I'm 37 years old. So if I say in high school, that's in, in the UK, high school is five years. So if I say in high school, in my life, that's five out of 37. So that's quite specific, right? Okay, so we have a specific time reference. So we know we need past simple, good, but. How do we conjugate the verb? Okay, so we've got I, you, he, she, we, they, it. And um, what is the conjugation for the verb to be in the past? So I was, you were, he was, she was, we were, they were, it was. So which of these subjects, which of these pronouns uh, suits the subject in this sentence? My best friend and I. 
Hmm. My best friend and I were in a rock band together in high school. Why? Because this subject here, my friend and I, my best friend and I, is a plural with we. We were in a rock band together in high school. Specific time reference, past simple of the verb to be. Okay, so let's have a look at number five. Okay, I hope you're doing well so far. One more in this video, but don't worry, I will have uh, questions six to ten in the next video. Okay, so <clears throat> do you know where my keys are? Oh, wait, it's okay. I mm, just find them. Okay, first question Do we have a specific time reference? No, no, actually, we, we, we don't. Okay, so maybe we can use present perfect or past simple. Okay, it depends still. Next question, is the action complete? Hmm, yes, it is. So, complete action in the past, past simple, right? Okay, but is the action connected to the present? Yes, it is. Right. Okay, so this is the key point. So if the action is connected, it's a past action, yes. It's complete, yes. But it's still connected to now. It's still connected to the present. So we can use present perfect for recently finished actions. And the answer will be, I have just found. So find is an irregular verb. Find, found, found. Past action, yes. It is complete, yes, but it's still important now. My keys are in my hand. Like what? Where, where are my keys? Where, where are my keys? <gasps> my keys. And I have my keys in my hand in the present. So I'm actually talking about the present. I'm referring to the past, but my focus is the present. So if the focus is the present, we use present perfect. Okay, so those are the answers for the first five questions. I hope you've done very well so far, but I think it's time to take a break. So if you're doing well so far, fantastic. I'll see you in the next video. If you've still got some doubts or you made some mistakes here, then like I say, I recommend going back and checking the grammar presentation videos before we continue with the next practice video. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you very soon.